Now, the variety of ways in which we form a triangle can be very different. Brian's going to give me the basketball and run a diagonal, and we're going to form a triangle on the weak side. Here's a solo, and you saw a lot of solos at some time. Okay? Now, the triangle is going to be on the opposite side of the floor. Annie, you're coming to the top of the floor. Kurt and Brian are running an interchange, and you follow the ball center. Oh, take, assume the corner, uh, Kurt, on this. Stay, Annie. And just follow the ball. All right, hold it again. Let's do it once again so that you understand. This is a triangle on the weak side so that we're looking for this guy now in the gut, looking for which was Shaq for a long time. Shaq follows it. Keep following it. Keep following it. And we go to what? Triangle. So you're back into triangle, but you ran a solo on this side of the floor and you exemplified the position or you magnified the position that the center was playing and made the defense have to stretch and now you come back to the system. So there's one of the ways that we get to the triangle without showing it right off the bat, okay? Now run a second guard fill. All right. He's, now, giving, he's giving you the whole book. No, I'm just giving him a little bit of the whole book. We have a situation where this defense is creating a lot of pressure Annie goes ahead early because she sees that she's not in a lag position. Come on in here, Annie. I got to have the basketball. And now she's filled the corner from that position. We had strong side entry, strong side fill. We just rang strong side entry, weak guard, second guard fill. And we get to our offense. That allows Kurt a backdoor step. When Annie makes that cut, that really opens up this backdoor step because Brian is, is over here on this side of the floor giving the ball into the wing, and we have an option out of that that really works well. Now, at this moment of truth, go ahead, Annie, go back to your original starting spot in the four lane. At this moment of truth, sometimes a guard has enough momentum or the guards are playing in a team pair in which we ask Annie to button hook and Brian to cross grain dribble entry. So Annie's going to button hook and Brian's going to cross grain. He gave an entrance pass. And now we have what? We have a center opposite sequence again, or Sally could go in. That's his option to go in, my option to stay and play now. I have to play a new position, which is the pinch post. You're at the top and Coach, center of the floor. We keep using Sally. We're going to have to give him a pro contract. <laughs> he may push him across and ask for the ball because his man's playing in the lane. You know, now he has, what, an open opportunity with three quarters of the court in a space where he's isolated. Got it? So there's a lot of these options. So there's a dribble entry by the guard. You'll see that often. That was a cross grain with a dribble entry. Come on back out here again, Brian. One of, the, one of the key principles to keep in mind in this offense is that the, the player with the ball hits the first open man. Don't wait for the second person to hit the first open man in the offense. If you see two open people, then you have a choice of which one you want to hit. But you hit the first open man. It's predicated on player and ball movement with a purpose. Now, as a last resort, we're just going to make a direct line entry. So he's going to drive me right down to the baseline, and Annie's going to assume the top of the key, and he's going to swing the ball, and Kurt's going to go to pinch post, and he's going to go right into the post off a of rub cut this time. Here goes Lamar. And he's got a post-up opportunity in the lane in a very simple action. What is the one, maybe two things that the layman can look at to say, all right, the Lakers are running it well tonight? 